Good morning. Welcome to my Friday vlogs. It's Friday the 3rd of May and it's raining. Good morning again. Um, I thought I'd share my face um, at the beginning of the vlog. It's about What's the time? Not even half past eight. I've just taken my daughter to school. It's a bit grey, miserable, raining. That seems to be the weather lately throughout all of April and, um, and now we're into May. Um, I've just realised we've run out of milk. So I'm just popping in to get some milk. Um, I've got a lovely day planned ahead. I've got a sewing day with my sister. Those of you that have um, seen my sister on the vlogs before, you'll be pleased about that. We're both making the same dress, so later on I will show you me tracing and cutting out and just sharing the pattern and the fabric before I go over there. I'm going to get there for about half past ten and um, we should have a, have a lovely day together. Okay, right, better go and get this milk. See you later. So I've just measured myself because I'm trying to work out what size dress I'm going to make today. I thought I'd just show you it. It's the Collage Gather Dress by Matchy Matchy Sewing Club. Um, I've seen one of these in real life. I saw someone wearing one um, when me and my sister went to a, a, a Stitch Festival in London and we went to Ray Stitch, the um, haberdashery there locally. Um, and someone was wearing this. And the, the joy of this pattern is that you can um, use a variety of fabrics for all of the different panels. Um, yeah, look it up on, if you've got Instagram, hashtag collage gather dress or collage gather top. There's some beautiful um, ones out there. But I also wanted to share this. So this is um, their uh, instruction um, booklet. And, um, I just really loved what they put. They, they kind of describe what this company are, um, but also their philosophy. So it says, Matchy Matchy Sewing Club is a playground of discovery for everyone who loves to sew and anyone who's ever wanted to. And I just think that's really lovely, isn't it? And, and their philosophy is we see sewing as more than sewing. It's a whole creative experience, a chance to solve a, pu a puzzle, build confidence, find your style, make memories and have fun. And I think lots of people often message me just to say um, that I, I seem to you know, just kind of go with the flow or not worry about mistakes. And I think that really sums it up. It's just it's not always about the you know the finished garment might not, not might not be perfect but it's the enjoyment of of making it and working things out um and the other thing they put here is what to expect beginner friendly design forward sewing patterns that are as fun to make as they are to wear grab what you've got make it your own and enjoy the process from beginning to let's do that again and that is me all over. If I can find a pattern that I love, I just want to make it again and again. And the bit about grab what you've got, I love that as well. And I have got plenty, I've got plenty of stash, but also I think this dress or top version is a fantastic way of um, stash busting and just using what you've got. So I've just, I'll show you what I've got. Oh, let me get the fabric. So this is the fabric I'm gonna use. I've washed it and dried it. This is a beautiful, Kind of chambray linen it's quite lightweight it feels feels lovely lovely and soft and I'm going to match it with some of this beautiful navy navy linen and I'm just trying to decide which bits to do I'm thinking of doing the the stripy 
here and the back is the same so I might have stripy here and at the back and I want these bits to be navy but these bits on the sleeve at the front I might even do the sleeve bits with the stripe that way but the front bit with the stripes going long ways and maybe on the back I might just do the stripy at the back and then navy all over for the sleeves this probably sounds a bit, I don't know if it's silly or not, but I'm just thinking sometimes that dark bit, that can be make you look a bit slimmer. <laughs> um, and the other thing is, this looks like a very big boxy dress and I don't really want to look like I'm wearing a sack. So that's why I just did my measurements. It says go by the bust measurement. Let me just see here. So for me, the most important thing is what are the finished garment measurements like? Now my bust was 45 inches and obviously you don't want it skin tight. So here, 47, that might only give me a couple of inches and I might need it a bit bigger. So I'm just gonna get my tape measure out and measure 50 inches and just see how loose or big that feels. It doesn't say what the finished garment, you know, waist or hip is, because obviously it's just very, very boxy and it, it describes it as going by your bust measurement. So I think I'm gonna do that now. So if I'm a 45, is 47 still gonna be fairly tight at the bust or do I go for a, an XL, get, make a 50? So let's do that now. Okay, so this is 50, that is quite you know, quite big at the bust. So, what if I, maybe I will do a 47 at the bust. So then at least I've got a bit of fittedness at the top and then flowiness on the boxy dress. Hmm, what do you think? 47. Yeah, look, this is what I'm doing. I'm imagining if it was a garment, you know, what it, there is movement there. But if it was on the 50, I think that's too big. And I do tend to end up making things a bit big. And then, look, that I think that's too big. I think I'm going to go for the 47 bust. Yeah, finished garment measurement 47. Mm -hmm. Decisions. I've also looked at another measurement and it's the um, the armhole measurement. On a large it's 16 and a half and an extra large it's 17. So I've just measured 16 and a half. Put my arm up. Yeah, and again, that's plenty, isn't it? I don't want it to be super massive. You want it to be, you know, look how it's meant to look but I just don't want it to be absolutely you know gaping the gaping sleeves but they're you know they're quite isn't this pretty this little gathered bit I think that's going to be really lovely okay I think I'm doing it I'm going to go for the large yeah the large will give me a 47 inch finished garment bust and a 16 and a half armhole Right, now for cutting out all my bits. Well, no, first of all, I've got to trace them. I've got to trace trace all my things and cut the fabric.
Oh, it looks lovely. Oh, sorry, I didn't really get any chance to, to film me and my, my sister. We had loads of things that went wrong with our sewing and um, all got a little bit frustrating, but I'll show you what I've made so far. It is inside out. So this is the dress so far. I love this little bit of gathering. So like you say, I've done the stripy for the inner and the sleeves. And on the back, I've just done the stripy just down the middle center panel. So I'm at the point, um, I just kept running out. My bobbin kept emptying my, I, I just kept running out of, of um, thread. <laughs> so I'm at the point now where I've just got to sew the side seams, the hem, the sleeve hems, and then bias binding. And I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. So yeah, not, um, oops, look at the state of my hair. Not a finished um, garment today, but I've had a lovely day with my sister. So yeah, catch up a bit later. anything? Meow. Oh, food. Meow. Meow. Hmm. What have you left? I'm kind of in the middle. The more on you, the better. I'm always on the lookout for something new. Something new, something exciting. Oh, yeah. I like it was so amazing in East Sussex. I think that's how it's supposed oh. to be a super healthy, delicious plant. Oh, wow. Mm. Is it right? We've introduced some ideas of his own. How close would you be able to just...